for this special occasion, for this review, I made uh, spiced apples three months in the making. Uh, I used, I winged it, I didn't follow any recipe, so it was experimental, we could die. Um, First impression, they look revolting. <laughs> I mean, it's iffy. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, they, they look weird. It's uh, just, yeah, they look like they're kind of alive. <laughs> but, you know, I used a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I filled the jars up like 60% with honey, and then like a teaspoon of nutmeg in each jar. And that was pretty much it. And then the honey pretty much became liquid, 100% liquid, but I thought that was strange. The vinegar probably did that. Yeah, I know, but it's still crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take the big one. You have a preference, Matt? Actually, get a fucking giant one. Get a switch. Oh, you want a giant yeah. one? Yeah. Alright. Fucking mess. There you go. That's the biggest That's one I think we got. Go big or go home. Alright. That's right. Cheers to all you at home. I want to leave some room for the apple. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll be the first one to go for it. Whew. I knew this would happen. That's right. Right. Um, um, let's. That's I told you. You're, oh, you can't blame this on me. You son of a bitch. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. no, 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 no. You gotta clean this up. All right, I, I got some, I got some alcohol. We got some matches. No, no, no. We need some acid. That's an idea. Acid and a bathtub. But we're probably going to need some gas masks. And yeah, we don't, we don't want the fumes. We're going to need to lay down some concrete upstairs or something. And then we need Stephen King. And then we need to kill the dog. His witness. Alright, I'll be the first one to try it. Not that bad. It'll be worth. I guess I'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Huh? Well, pretty good. This was inspired by this anime. I mean, I saw them in the anime, and of course it looks amazing in the anime. But I was like, I've never seen anyone do this before. So I, I gave it a wing, waited three months to do this review, and actually it was an opportune moment to do it, because they were actually finished and ready to go, hopefully. <laughs> it's a test phase I've never done before, and there's not many recipes for it. Most recipes, it's actually pickling the apples and like nasty juice. I don't know how they can eat that. Most of the recipes I've seen. It's just weird. So uh, I just kind of wung it and did it with the anime, honey and nutmeg. But I put apple cider vinegar in it just to kill anything off that might start happening in there. But proceed. All right, let's do it. Tribute to one of my favorite YouTubers. Have a good day. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Spitters are quitters. Swallowers are followers. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You can have a drink of the beer. It helps bring it down. <laughs> the beer helps it go down. Hey, it helps her go down, too. Walked into that You one. know what I mean. <laughs> Take another one? Oh, damn right. Yeah, he's been waiting for this. For like five years. I'll be honest. It tastes like it smells. And it kind of smells like the inside of Kohl's right around September, October. I like how you have that memorized. It's the truth. I tell the truth, man. Okay. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this little short, nothing too funny, I, I just, little thing I wanted to show you guys, and I'll see you guys uh, during the review. Alright, and welcome back, my royal disciples, to my next 
uh, dubbed anime review, and I am with me yet again, Simply Stimpy and Canaanite. And this week we will be reviewing Spice and Wolf. Simply Stimpy's been waiting to do this for a long time now. Yes, I So have. I'm glad we actually got to it before he goes back to college. Kaboom! And... <laughs> Alright, and our first category is soundtrack. I personally thought the soundtrack was awesome for this anime. The openings were a bit even for me. They weren't the greatest openings in the world, but they were still pretty good. The outro uh, uh, themes were catchy, but they weren't too amazing. And the soundtrack for the build-up music and all the type of stuff during the actual anime was really good. That was the best part of the soundtrack for me. It kept a lot of tension, a lot of dramatic scenes, a lot of build-up. That was probably one of the second best category on this list that we're going to be discussing was the soundtrack. But that's what I thought about the soundtrack. What about you guys? Well, I thought the soundtrack was great. I loved the openings. And uh, the outros I didn't think were that great. You know, I, I kind of didn't like them so much. But all the build-up music, all the music during the anime, I thought was awesome. I just thought the endings were <laughs> catchy, in my opinion. Definitely my favorite music in anime, though. Yeah, like in an anime. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I uh, wasn't a huge fan of the music in the first season. Um, more specifically, the intros and the outros. Just, it's... In my opinion, they were just kind of forgettable, and uh, I did, however, like the uh, the transition music that they had in there, like the violins, that kind of thing. Uh, that stuff I thought was really good, and I thought that it kind of um, separated this anime from other ones, the yeah. other ones that we've watched, and uh, gave it its own kind of feel. Yeah, it has, it has its own style, it has its own yeah. theme, and everything. And I definitely really liked the uh, the music a lot more in the second season, especially the intro and the outro. Um, the intro was really good, you know. Uh, the outro was very good, and they kept the uh, the same transitional music through most of the anime too. So, I think overall, I'm kind of fifty fifty on the. Music. Same with me. So these were my two favorite intros, both seasons of any anime. Probably. Well, this is your favorite anime, so eh, it's, it's all personal perspective overall. But for me, migrating towards the soundtrack, I will give a solid B. Since the uh, since the outros didn't kill it as much as possible, as much as it could have, I'm going to give it a B plus. For me, because, uh, you know, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of music in the first season. I liked the second season's music more. Um, I think overall, like I said, I was kind of 50-50 on it. So I think the most fair rating I can give would be a B minus, you know, not... Not average, above average in my opinion, but not not quite an A though. That's fair. That's fair. All right, and our next category is characters. The story mostly revolves around the same two characters: Holo, a goddess from uh, Japanese mythology, and what times was it? Middle Ages. Middle, middle Ages times. Times. <laughs> and anyway, uh, medieval times. Medieval, medieval times. Time. <laughs> <laughs> and Lawrence. Uh, a peddler, a merchant, a traveling merchant, and they both right around the store where she wants to go back to the north, and he decides to bring her there. And for, I love redheads for me, and she has she's part wolf, so yeah. I think we all share that love. <laughs> the redheads, but, not as much as me, man. Oh, okay. I not like redheads, but yeah, for me, Holo was probably my favorite character in this anime. She was the one that stuck out the most, had the most personality too. Uh, besides the fact she's probably hundreds of years old, it doesn't really matter to me. But she's like fine wine, only gets better with age. <laughs> there you go. But for me, I thought the characters were great. It had a few side characters like Nora, the blonde-headed sh shepherd with the sheep. But besides that, not too many interesting people that they really stuck with. They just kind of they were there once or twice. They talked to them, and that's about well, it. I think that's the idea of a traveling merchant. Yeah, yeah I know. Meet people they, and then you leave. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I understood that. But it was just <laughs> mostly revolved around the same two characters, Lawrence and Holo. Yeah, the whole, the whole show was pretty much just focused on their journey. Yeah. You know? It was but, really about the relationship between the two of them. See, I liked that and I didn't like that because I, I like I like a lot of characters. Because usually the more characters there are and they actually get into explaining who they are and get into their story more, I feel like I get more attached to the anime. It's kind of one extreme to another. Sometimes they'll have too many characters and then yeah. you just kind of get lost. It, it's good to have a lot of characters if you actually explain them and have more yeah. time to show them if, off. If they're all like unique and everything. Yes. They're all memorable. Uh, that's one, but I still think it was a great anime, even though it had mostly just these two characters. But that's what the anime was about, so it's understandable. But what about you guys? I love the fact that it was only the two of them. I, 
I'd probably be the only straight guy to admit this, but I love a good romance, honestly. Any good romance story I like. Yes, I like The Notebook, all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Kane and I, what did you think of this, that character? Yeah, um, I'm not going to go quite as far as he did, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was, a, it was a, you know, the characters were good, you know, uh, like he said, Hollow and Lawrence are pretty much the main characters of this story, and, you know, like I said, the story is pretty much focused on their journey, you know, so it's about their relationship and the bond between the two of them and how they interact with each other, and they do a good job of telling that, of telling that story, you know, and showing how that relationship changes throughout the course of the anime. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're both very likable, in my opinion. Yeah, they're both, uh, they're both characters are great. I mean, yeah. if you're going to just, you're gonna just make two characters, you got to make them likable. And... Yeah, exactly. Like I said, Holo's my favorite character in any anime. She's, she definitely she's in my, number one. She's in my me. top five. I'll give her that, but not my favorite. I'll give her credit because, unlike a lot of the animes that we've seen, she's not... She's a little annoying sometimes, but not not to the point where I'd want her dead and I hate her. <laughs> I love her. She's just she's not hopelessly pathetic. Yeah, you she's, know, she's confident. Yeah. She's she, confident. She has she's, a lot of confidence, and she she has a lot of insecurities too, which you can tell yeah, when she yeah. gets every time she gets pissed at Lawrence, it's because of her own insecurities, <laughs> and she covers yeah. it up with confidence, and that's I love that. That's great. But for my rating towards the characters, I will give it a B plus. <laughs> Just because of the fact, I respect that it was mostly about these two characters, but for me, I like an anime with a lot of characters, just just me. But for, it's strange for me to like an anime with just two characters. It was just done so well with these two characters and their personalities that I gave it a solid B+. Didn't make A rank with me, but it was still very well done. Because it's Holo, and I liked Lawrence too, I thought his part was awesome as well. You know, I'm going to have to go ahead and I'm going to give this an A. Uh, you know, I don't feel quite as strongly about the characters as he did, but, uh, you know, like I said, I really enjoy the characters. I, I, if I had to pick a, my favorite, I'd probably say Lawrence. Um, you know, I did enjoy his character the most, and I did enjoy Holo, too, and the relationship between the two of them. So I think, uh, the fair grade that I can give, not quite a B plus, but definitely not an A, I think I'm just gonna give a solid B for the characters. Okay. Fair rating. I mean, we're pretty even so far. I understand you, your ranking because it's your favorite anime. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. All right, and our next category is story. The story takes place in the mid-1200s to the 1500s. I'm guessing that's where it seems to take place in. And it's mostly about the same the characters we were talking about before, before, Holo and Lawrence, and their journey to the north together. And Holo is some uh, goddess of great harvest that brings great wheat to this village that she makes a deal with this one person but eventually they get so big this village gets so big that they don't need her anymore so they stop believing in her so they pretty much she just wants to leave and jumps in his car and they decide to go to the north together but that's uh, the whole story is pretty much their journey and their relationship together and how it builds up over time but I won't get to the ending yet but for me the overall story was really interesting I like that it take place in like back in the day <laughs> Rather than modern anime, most animes take place in a school or a home or modern times or even futuristic animes. Yeah. But this one is one of the few that actually gets way back in the middle of nowhere, like where they have horses and knights and armors and kings and queens and all that. But that, that was really cool. Yeah, I liked how it was set in like a different, it's not like Japanese. Yeah. It's more like, you know, old English times. Yeah, it was in Europe, I believe, the anime. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely say this is probably the most. Of all the animes that, at least that I've seen, this one probably has the most American feel. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. To all of them. I like that it was it was really cool too. The coins for money and everything it was just like all basic stuff. It didn't get to the. It probably would look a lot more dirty and trashy, but I mean. Uh, Boy, come on! You gotta even in movies, it doesn't look that dirty or trashy. Yeah, but still, it was an overall <clears throat> great story. Very original to take it back then. I thought it was yeah. very original compared to a lot of animes. And I overall, what did you think, Kane? I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I did like the story for the most part. I do think that there were things that kind of uh, irked me a little bit. Like the, uh, I thought that they went, even though I know that it was a, a big part of the story, all the, the the dealings with the money and all that stuff, these exchanges and everything, I thought that they got a little too in-depth with all that. And it just got to the point where it was just kind of, you knew what they were going for, 
like you knew like towards the end that he was gonna want to get Holo back and yeah. everything, but it was just getting to a point where it's just like, all right, I can't keep track of all of this these different these different types of money that they have. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, so, yeah the idea of it too. Yeah, it's the idea. You just have to rewatch it a few times and actually look into it a little bit more, and then it ends up being like that. But when you first time watch it, you really can't keep up with all the types of coins yeah, they have. Yeah, I was and all yeah. The first time I watched it, I was just like, what the hell? Like, there's Trinity, and then. Lumion's like, what is this? Come on. <laughs> I mean, I knew what I, I knew what they were going for, but just for me, anyway, it was just got to be hard to follow at times. Well, for me, my rating to the story will probably I'll give it an I'll give it an A, just for its originality and how well it was told. I really like. It. Well, for me, I I loved this story. Like I said, I. Love a good romance story, and I felt like this actually nailed it. You know, it, it had a really good story behind it. I liked how it was the two of them traveling. And, you know, they, you could tell from an early start, they never actually said it openly to each other, but they had some type of attraction and feelings towards each other, even early. And it took them long enough, you know, to finally admit to each other, well, hey, we both love each other, so there we go. And uh, so for that... Just because I love this story. And oh, she didn't admit that she loved him. Uh, she pretty much. She never said the words. Nah, she, she never said the words. She's a goddess. If she actually said that then, I would have been a little surprised. But it was hinted. I know. I mean, she, she, ne she never said the words. <laughs> Spoiler. And regardless, I was going to go with A. For me, um, you know, going back to what he said earlier about romances, I don't hate romance stories. It's just for me. They have to be done right. Yes, and 99% of the time they're done horribly and totally unrealistically <laughs> for me. Um, a little over the top. Usually they just, they just make me roll my eyes because it's not even close to how people act in real life. But I think for this one, even though there, a lot of it was unrealistic and over the top and over dramatic at times, you did really feel like by the end of it that these two were actually in love and that they actually cared for each other. And you can see that, you know, you can see this love blossoming throughout the whole, uh, throughout the whole anime. And, um, you know, so it was done really well. You know, the story was done really well. I do agree with what he said about how it was original, how they had to take place in that time period. Um, like I said, you know, pretty much the only thing that hurt her for me was the money stuff. I thought that it just got way too convoluted and complicated <laughs> and it just they couldn't just have five that's why of coins, that's why 50. it was an a not an a plus for me yeah and i thought that they spent a little too much time on the, on the money and all the exchanges and all that stuff i just thought it got a little too complicated and it kind of took me out of the story a little bit so it's tough for me i think overall for the story i think a fair rating for me would be i'm gonna kill you c plus i'm just gonna have to kill I know, you, you, probably, you probably don't like it but in my opinion, a C plus is above average. Because if I thought it was average, I'd give it a C. But I think for the originality, I give it a C plus. But I think that you know the, <laughs> the problems that I had with it just it's not everybody's you know anime, so it's just you know, yeah. If you gave it a crazy rating, that would be it. So if, it, if it was like a D, I would have just yeah, laughed. Exactly. Just slug them. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't give it. I couldn't give it like a D minus. You know, just to piss them <laughs> off. But being fair. This is all about fairness. In the interest of fairness. All right. <laughs> All right, and we finally get to our ending and final rating category. Now, for me, this is where the anime goes a little bit downhill for me. The ending, like I say in lots of my other reviews, that it leaves me wanting too much more to the point where I, like, they shouldn't have ended it there. <laughs> like, they just, that's it? Like, it felt like, to me, it was like one of those abruptly ending things where they just show them walking off and then you never show them. What? What happened? Well, you left me hanging. What are you doing? Uh -huh. I loved the ending. I don't I, know how you didn't like that. I, I thought that I thought it was all right, but it was just like, it left me like... They explained it. Left me at the scene. door. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. They explained enough in the scene before you see them walking. Yeah, away. I know, but I wanted to actually see them get to the where they were going. Why? There's no need for it. I do kind of agree that I, I think that they did, uh, especially after seeing it for the second time, I think that they did explain enough. You know, I do agree with you on the hand that it was left open, and it did leave you wanting more. You wanted to know more of this story, and they could have told you more. Yeah. You know, there was more story to tell, and there yeah. still is more story to tell for this. But I think that the amount that they gave you was enough 
for at least me to be to feel satisfied. Like, it wasn't for me. It leaves me it leaves me kind of saying to myself, "Well, I wish there was more, but the fact that there isn't, I can live with that." Because this had the opportunity to be like really close to my top favorite anime. It just if they actually had that really happy ending. It or, was a happy ending. It, yeah, it was a happy ending, and it had a lot. It, the whole time I was there, my seat, like, what's gonna happen? What's he gonna do? Well, I mean, like we were saying earlier, this whole anime was really about the relationship between them. Yeah. And, and you can see the relationship between them came together finally, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, and I think that that's really the only way that you could have ended it. He happily. finally mans up and kisses her, and then they walk off into the fucking snowy abyss. <laughs> I uh, thought that was perfect. I didn't think it was perfect. I thought it was almost acceptable. Almost acceptable in my kind of but it's, they just left me wanting too much more. Like, I felt like they're... Since they had so much during the actual anime, like he said, all about money and all that, they didn't get too into it. Like, I felt each... Every six episodes, they took, like, another step to their bond together, their relationship, their travels. But then they didn't really get too much more into it for enough to leave it that open to me. They, they just kind of left me hanging there, like... I mean, once they... I wanted to see more. <laughs> once they're openly pretty much together, I mean, that's what they... Gave off anyway at the end. I, I think mean, that I, concludes it. I mean, I do got to give them credit for the facts, and I think you got to give them credit too, because a lot of animes, they they'll tease these, they'll build up these relationships yeah, yeah, and yeah, do yeah. nothing with them. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you got to give them credit for the fact that they actually, kind of, pretty much, you know, showed you that they're if they're yeah, not they have feelings for each other, and if, they actually want to be together. If they're not together when this story ends, they're going, going to be, be going to be together. You know, yeah. it's pretty much a guarantee. So. I mean, especially with all that talk of, you know, goddesses and humans mating. Well, the fact that her home could not be there anymore, too. Like, the, like they were trying, they don't know what's there. They, yeah. they both don't know what to expect when they actually get there. That's why I wanted to see even more. Well, that's, so. that's another thing you could take the ending as, you know. They're, especially the way that it's shot, you know. They're walking out of this building and they're kind of walking hand in hand out into the unknown, you know, they don't know where their journey is going to take them. Yeah, they you just know? want to enjoy what's left from it, but I, I also think, wanted to see them well, enjoy what's left from it. I think that would take a little bit away from the audience, because the way that it ends, it gives the audience that feeling of they're stepping out of the unknown, they don't know what's going to happen next, you know, just like they don't. You know, and if you do kinda, remember, she did say at one point that she would have no problem staying with him, him being older and her being young, she would have. Oh no yeah, she, yeah, I know that. So I don't think their journey would come to an end, even if they did get to the north. Yeah, I don't. I just. I think I they would. End up, I want to know. That's what drives me that's, so much. That drives me crazy, wanting to know, and but I'd never be able to find. I feel like we know enough though, because they me. explained it all throughout the whole thing. I don't understand me. how you feel though, because I do hate it when they leave things so open that it just drives you nuts. You know, yeah. because I feel like the whole story becomes a waste of time at that point if they're not going to have a decisive ending. It's just for me, I felt that it was enough of an ending to leave me satisfied. You obviously didn't. When I first like saw it, I was like, is there one more episode? Is there, like, come on, what, what was this? <laughs> you I guys like, know I just love this anime, so. But I'm going to give my. I'll give it a solid final rating as a B. Still highly recommended. Super original, lovable characters. No one I really hated. Story was awesome. Soundtrack was great. So, for me, I just give it a solid B. I'll let you go first this time. Alright, well, for me, uh, you know, it was overall, good anime. You know, uh, I don't know, I don't think it'd be in my top three, but, you know, overall, good story, good characters, and, I, you know, I didn't hate the ending, you know, it wasn't spectacular to me, but it was, it was good, it was sad, it was satisfying. Um, you know, it would probably be even more satisfying if they continued this at some point, but, I think overall, the fair final rating that I should give this, uh, I think I'm going to give it a <laughs> B minus overall All right. for me. B minus, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, now it's my turn. Because I absolutely love the ending. Like I said, I felt like it completely answered every question that I had. You know, especially because if you remember from earlier in the anime what they said to each other and all of that, you know, I just tell like, us the rating. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> you know what's gonna happen afterwards already. And I'm not gonna get into more arguments about this. Just to <laughs> give us your Let rating. Let the man speak. <laughs> <laughs> because it is my favorite anime. I thought the story again, everything pretty much got an A except for the soundtrack. It was because of one little flaw. So I'm gonna go ahead. This is just gonna be okay. A plus for me. 
I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty much for each of us, our favorite. Yeah, we have. I think our final ratings for our favorite. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Yeah, it's it's your, if it's your favorite, then yeah, of course. But absolutely. <laughs> I think I'm the only person who actually tries to like come up with a, a an average that makes sense out of all of the first three <laughs> ratings. I try to come up with a logical average. Well, it's because usually for me, the ending has a big impact on all three. Yeah, so everything's weighted yeah. differently for me, so yeah. I don't average out just the grades. Like, I don't just look at the grades and then make my final rating. I go to the ending plus whatever I have rated before it, too. The ending is like half my rating. These are all like small categories that I like to just go over in the review. Final ending yeah. kind of builds it all together for the last final rating. Which we all scale it differently. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, that's, that's like, why there's, it's better than just having one person doing it. Story and characters is going to weigh more than ending and soundtrack for me. It all depends on the anime styles, I mean. Yeah. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this dubbed anime review of Spice and Wolf. I thought it was a great anime, and I'll leave links in the description to Simply Stimpy and Canaanite's channels. Check them out, they're awesome. And I'll see you guys at my next dubbed anime review.